Good morning, it's Lisa Pizzoni, founder of The Running University and the only Chi Running and Chi Walking Master Instructor in the state of Arizona. It's hot here in Phoenix Mesa today, uh, not like it was last night on the 15 mile run that I did, the 25K, and I've been wanting to blog weekly and that has not been happening, so I figured maybe the video would be much quicker. And I just wanted to share quickly my experience from last night because um, I like to share my learning lessons with everybody about my running experiences. So last night was a 25K, which was a little over 15 mile, a trail race at nighttime, which is now my favorite kind of racing. And it's my longest race since I had my plantar fasciitis um, issues going on. So I've been healing from that, haven't had any pain in a while. So I was really excited about this race. Part of me was a little bummed because not a lot of my friends were doing it. But at the same time, I decided maybe I'll take this opportunity to actually plan for a race. That is something that I don't do very often and why I'm calling this vlog a plan or not to plan. I normally don't plan because I just like to go out and enjoy the race. I don't like to set too many expectations that might set me up for failure. But last night I decided, you know what, have a plan. Let's see what happens. And the great thing is, is um, I did a free clinic for Chi Running a couple nights ago. I had a workshop yesterday morning before the race, a Chi Running workshop, and I had just got back from helping Danny Dreyer, the founder of Chi Running, at Kripalu for five days. So I had a lot of information in me and I was feeling really good about, about the Chi. So I decided to have a plan and a strategy. So first of all, um, my plan was to beat my time, and I hate to do that, but my time last year on this race was three hours and 57 minutes. And I had ran it with a couple of friends. It was our first um, long night trail run. And we had a really good fun time. But I knew that I could do better than that. And then my other plan was really to just use my energy as efficiently as possible. So my entire goal for this race was to be energy efficient. So the first thing I did when I started is I turned my GPS on, but then I put it away. Because sometimes I have a tendency to keep looking at my watch, and that tends to stress me out. So I decided not to worry about my time and to really focus on how I was feeling and body sensing. And then from a, a chi running perspective, I really wanted to focus on energy efficiency. So I was very strategic in almost every single mile that I was in. On any of the hills, instead of running the hills efficiently with Chi Running, I decided to walk them because I knew I could be more energy efficient. So really focused on my arms helping me up the hill. I focused a lot on breathing on this run. I've been really playing around with nose breathing, and I feel like that made a huge difference in my run. And then um, the other thing I was really focusing on was keeping my strides very short and really just feeling the road bring me, um, bring me forward, like me not doing, just doing as little work as possible. And then, um, you know, 15 miles by yourself is a very long time, <laughs> so I was working on a lot of this, um, these form focuses. And then at the same time, I started working on one of my favorite types of running meditation, which is um, listening to your senses. And it was a beautiful night out. There was a full moon, and it was thunder on two sides and lightning on two sides, but it never actually hit us. So from a listening perspective, you know, I could hear the pounding of my footsteps. I could hear the little animals in the desert. I can smell the desert because you could smell that it had rained. I was really keeping an eye on the trail. That's about all you can do at nighttime as far as your visual focus goes. But it just really was an all around great race. I hit the aid station at nine miles and that seemed like forever. And then I ran into a friend of mine, so we chatted for a while. But I do realize that when I talk at races a lot, that does take up a lot of energy as well. So all in all, I was very excited about my, <clears throat> my final outcome with the race. Not only did I feel really good when I ended, I'm obviously a little sore today. But I felt really good because I ended, I don't have the official results yet, but my GPS said 316, which was about a 45 minute um, shaving from my last, um, last, uh, last time on that course this, last year. So, you know, the bottom line is what I'm trying to work through and maybe some advice for you is, you know, to have a plan or not to have a plan with a race. <clears throat> I realized that it was really good for me to have a very strategic plan because everything went the way that I expected it to. Um, but the other thing you need to keep in mind is you want to be detached a little bit from the plan because if something were to happen that was out of my control, you know, that's a lot of things that runners face a lot is you set an expectation, you set a time for a race and you don't beat it and then you end up beating yourself up about it and that's really wasted energy. 
you know, I was out there, I had an awesome time, it was one of my best races ever. And so I encourage you to go out and next time you do a race, you know, maybe set a plan, but don't be too attached to it. Have a great one.